Hey guys, this is a demonstration of the anatomy of the heart for Anatomy and Physiology 2. A couple things before we start, just make sure to uh, always give direction like left and right and um, also be careful with the questions because the, the, the question could be name the layer, name the chamber, name the region, um, name the muscle, name the structure, that sort of thing. Okay, so uh, to begin here, the, the name the region. So the region up here, this is the base. And name the region, this is the apex. This is the right auricle, little pouch. And this is the left auricle. This is the pulmonary trunk, aorta, superior vena cava, and way down here this is the inferior vena cava and then this is the right side of the heart so if this is the pulmonary trunk here follow it, follow it around and that, that would make this the right pulmonary artery and these are the right pulmonary veins going back to the heart open this up here and on the inside of the, the, the oracles, you have the, the pectinate muscle. So this is pectinate muscle. This chamber here, this is the right atrium. And then all this layer that you see out here, this is the epicardium. You also have your two coronary arteries. This is the right coronary artery, and this is the left coronary artery. And those feed the heart. Okay, now we open this up, <clears throat> and you can see the chambers and the valves. So if this is the right atrium, this is the right ventricle. Name the chamber, name the chamber. And then way up in there would be the, um, you know, superior to this valve would be the uh, left atrium. And then, of course, all this down here is the left ventricle. Your two atrioventricular valves divide the atrium from the ventricles, from the atria from the ventricles. So this will be your right atrioventricular valve, and this is the left atrioventricular valve. Or you could say the tricuspid valve and the bicuspid valve. And then there's one more name for that. You can say the mitral valve. These are the chordae tendini. Chordae tendini, these are the strings that are attached to the valves and also attached to your papillary muscles. Name the muscle, papillary muscle. Name the layer, endocardium. Name the chamber, left ventricle. Name the plate-like structures, trabeculae, trabeculae carni. Name the structure, this structure from here to, I would say here, this is the interventricular septum. However, this small section from here to here would be the interatrial section, interatrial septum. Interventricular septum, interatrial septum. Pulmonary trunk, pulmonary valve. Or you can say the right semilunar valve. This is the aorta, so here is your aortic valve. Or you can say the, the, the left semilunar valve. Again, your two oracles. This is the left oracle, right oracle. Uh, right ventricle, left ventricle. This is the right um, atrium. Um, and um, let's see here. I think that's pretty much it. We got these papillary muscles here. Papillary muscle, papillary muscle. Name the, uh, oh, and there's one more layer. Name this thick layer here. This is the myocardium. So you have the epicardium, myocardium, and endocardium. So be careful. Name the structure, interventricular septum. Name the layer, and this is the interventricular, sorry, this, and that would be the myocardium. Okay, and then on this side, then you have the same vessels again, except this is the left side. So this would be the left pulmonary artery and the 
left pulmonary veins going back to the heart, going back, and that will enter the um, the left <coughs> left atri atrium. If you open up the back here, you can see the uh, the 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 uh, the, right, the the left atrium there. Okay, and I believe that is all. Thank you very much, and study well.